anything using foreign currency must pay the government tax using foreign, foreign currency. currency. Is it bad or not to a lawless and irresponsible people? But it, to me, to me, to me, first of all, it's it's fair. Thank you. Um, okay. If you're able to get the forex, pay the forex. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, because why should you go and use arbitrage to <laughs> to settle your bills that you've done yeah. while keeping real profits to yourself? Yes. Okay. Doesn't make sense. Okay. Okay. Now my question is, if I'm a civil servant and I had to do a lot, I had to hustle to get that foreign currency just to go and get whatever what, what, I got. What hustling were you doing? It must be illegal. Not necessarily. Maybe I'm doing something, you know, cross like, border. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Yes, but it's illegal. Not all hustle is illegal. <laughs> That's my point. But is it paying how, how do, how do no, we earn not. foreign currency? It's not paying in foreign but I had to then hustle. Are you then you are burning. No, no, no. Illegal. Okay, yes, maybe I am. But at the end yes, of the day... Yes, then at this point, we can't help you. Well, illegal. I don't think it's fair to me. I'm getting my salary in RTGS as a civil servant. Buy things that require you to pay in RTGS. But, but Fuel today. I, drugs. I need drugs. That, see something. Exactly. Let's but agree to say that government needs to make reforms to make the pharmaceutical no, industry align with it how... Was, was but they, ha they have to yeah, align how the things are. It's, it's an, an opinion. opinion. No, 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 it's an opinion. Okay, can I, can I come in? Right. Let's look at the debt issue. Because the budget is not going to address Right. Let's look at the debt issue. Zimbabwe has got an unsustainable debt situation right now. Mm -hmm. Because we, we yeah, borrow, we borrow, we borrow to, to adjust a, can a can deficit. I speak? Mount Catterwood. Sorry. I think this plan will be democratic. Yeah. 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 No, $18 billion. Mm -hmm. For the first time in the history of this country since 1908, domestic debt is higher than external you know, debt. debt. Mm -hmm. yeah. Terrible economics. Here comes Emerson Munangago in November 2017. He inherits a state from Robert Mugabe. It's a mess of an economy from yeah. Robert Mugabe. Here is Nangagwa, here is Mutuli Nube, here is Patrick Chinamasa or before him. November to July 2000 and, November 2017 to July 2018 mm. or June. Five billion or se, five to seven billion domestic debt caused by what? Fiscal indiscipline. How was that fiscal indiscipline? These things Come. are even government books are indicating that we had domestic debt hallowing from a mega $3.5 billion to $9 billion. And, and I'll explain, closing, closing I'll explain why. I'll put it back to the citizen. Deals, but where the, what were I'll put it back to the citizen. What were those they wanted to pacify deals. a citizen that just went through no. a coup. Right, you are talking about no, 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 no. no. There was, pa there was pacifying of every one of no, us. Let's be consistent. Every one of us you had know, to be pacified. You know if you had made a coup, mm -hmm. would you not want to pacify Why people? Make people? They will overthrow you. The military, the military decided to stay in the barracks, but this is debate. So, you, so you, you would <laughs> want Norma. Robert Mugabe to be still Norma. elected in Who office Norma? right now? Robert Mugabe wasn't elected in 2018. No, he was. Yes, so was if he was, if he was the president, and the whole world recognized him as the president of Zimbabwe, the moment the army took him out, mm. which we can all agree a coup, not a coup. Mm -hmm. After that, yeah, then, anyone I, in the world, you and I know, even the in Rwanda, they when had to pacify their people somewhere. Yeah. Seven right. billion had to pacify your no, eating unproductive self. No, you no, don't no, make any no, money to earn foreign no, currency, no, but you still want the good lives of foreign currency. <laughs> no, ma. Government Who was funding the owners of foreren fiscal foreren activities. The those, budget, those the debt regulator, Go out of proportion. Seventy percent of GDP is really governing the constitution. Why? Because Varuk Fanda Makasai fiscal activities like funding, buy, buying cars for chiefs. Ah, those. In, those are menial things. Ah, uh -uh. yeah. no, 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 no. Twenty million was used. That's a lot. How many cars, 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 cars do we as citizens buy from Japan every citizens, day? Citizens, not the state. Yeah. No, the state but I have a responsibility what? to use our taxes appropriately. Okay, let me let me not let me not defend the state before I'm called that I'm captured. But again, let's go back to where we started. Yeah, is the budget working for us? The debt situation in this country is unsustainable. And Mutuli Ngube, coming back to the budget, yeah. Mutuli Ngube should have given us a debt clearance strategy in the net, in the budget. Exactly. And some of us have always called for number one, the debt is odious. Do you know that we have inherited debt from Ian Smith? Most mm. of most of some of us don't know which we are supposed to be. Mm. It's odious. Mm. Yeah. It's illegitimate. Mm -hmm. Number two, we have got debt that we that we created domestically and externally through the funding of the DRC or through the funding of paying war veterans that war veterans compensation yeah. funds, mm -hmm. and we were issuing treasury bills, spending and spending and spending. So and all right did the debt, and, 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 and how do we do that if we don't become a people uh -huh. and right. I want to come to, so, yeah. come to the solution. So yes. here's, here's the plan. All did the debt 
and in, the, and involve all parties, citizens, uh, stakeholders. Say, date is a good date. All right, take to fund finance as you do on the day. All right, take a finance as you do politics. All right, take a one on a smith. Then, and take a solution. So, all just did is amoral. Vakari kuereta ndo wanafanya upea big. Number one. Data assumption bill. Why was it passed? This cost still data assumption bill. Arabi z data assumption bill. But what happened to Arabi z? Kitu ni gona ngo printa mari. Ishara foreign currency. Oni ndenga ma farm implement. Me wina. Oni ndenga ma farm implement zoe outside. Opa chi. Wana ma farms. Under the guys. Under the guys. Yeah. Buffet. Under the guys. Let me let me finish. Let me finish. Under the guys. Oni she want to support the fast track land reform, which was a good idea. Yeah. But those people have never repaid. The Arabs so now Arabs are built. But what are they trying to lower? Because they didn't need to lower. They didn't lower. Why they need now? Who don't have farms? This is why we are paying the two percent. Have this. Yes, the two percent new taxes. So let's look at how criminal fiscal measures are. How criminally irresponsible they are. Right. These people and where the debt has been audited. If surely the government audits the debt. Oh, not the government. People, I no, no, government. No, 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 no. All right, all right. Yeah. Whoever audits, huh? oh, and we come back and both. say, he that made the dead must pay for it. Yes. Yes. Your parent yes. went to university and was paid for by the Zimbabwean yeah. government. My parent did that. My did your parent? Yes, yes. yes. my grants. Yes. My parent has yeah. never paid a single dime to yes. that situation. Yes. Yes. That is a lot of money. So, and today, yeah. if we ask them to pay, no, they will tell you it is painful. They are charging me again. But you called it the grant. Yeah. Grant, I buy that. you are. But then the way the student loan works. No, no, no. So because the government of Robert Mugabe stayed softening and subsidizing and babying us, they will always... All I'm saying, I'm giving you an example. I picked one example and maybe it's not sufficient for you. But it's a very real example that if we used that grant system in a way that it was a loan situation, that's what I'm saying. And who has to pay? It's these ones. Who went to university yeah, with the grants? Who are already crying what about the two percent yeah. of now? now. Mm. When you tell them oh. about the debt of yesterday, they will tell you to end up going to school. All right. Yeah, but no, you see, the, the thing is, there, there are certain things in uh, within uh, even the yesteryear debts yeah. that were not grants. Mm -hmm. No, I, I picked an example. Give, give your example and let's and let's give and let's examples. develop. Okay. I just hear example like you rightfully said, like uh, you know, my loans are this Okay. Um, for me, there is no way that Zimbabwe should still be relying on being given out inputs as we did. Um, if what I think personally is that we should, I'll, and I'll go back to this simply because I just got yeah, but <laughs> you find that the Ian Smith regime, the Rhodesian regime, was very very um, stringent. Very stringent because what they used to do is that. They used to have a. I'll, I'll talk about agriculture, just agriculture. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. There are ten provinces where they tell you what to grow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So and then they had a committee Stick. in Stick. every Stick. in every province. This is where that whole thing of devolution comes through. Yes. Okay. Because that committee decides, good no, we need this for us to sustain ourselves. Yes. 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 Okay. yes. Mm -hmm. So that bankers, the accountants, the ah. army, mm -hmm. CIO, yeah, GMB, everyone, they'll all be there. Mm -hmm. So when you cannot produce, they buy you out. Ah, no, you make a shakun net. Oji, she na umusha. Bo. Then you go home. But mm -hmm. then the problem is now, even the way I think it happened, it's a, the chaos that happened. Of course, it 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 creates a dead situation because kune mo na rafu ko jiga ndi rima mahabros. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but my you say, can export. No, yeah. I'm just saying good. But as no but I'm saying good. We are we, we do things that maximize what we need to survive. Mm -hmm. The reason why we're not a basket anymore is because we do things that don't maximize our actual utility. Yes, mm -hmm. you understand. I can't be growing. Deficit. Yeah, so I can't be. Man, I can't be. I can't be. <laughs> Get away. I can't be <laughs> I can't be growing I can't be growing fish in the Sahara. Yeah. 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 Right. So this is why I'm saying there are certain things like that way at the end of the day we just need to shift from a, a a sense of you know trying to be so bookish and trying to be so you know and move yes. to practicality yes and because the communities already know how to sustain themselves exactly. but if, you go, 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 if yeah. you go to go mm -hmm. they believed in cotton, cotton. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and that was the best for them yeah. Yeah. why yeah. not go <laughs> back to the fundamentals mm -hmm. to the 
original things that people and we support that mm. not having this yes it's nice to reclaim our land and what are we doing on that land cutting down trees Yes. To burn tobacco. You, you are now here on that lawless yes. people. Yeah. You're back to the lawless yes. people. Yes. 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 The, I think the government uh, don't, in don't itself. Cast no, no, no. On the no, we must. Uh, they're, they're, Let's be responsible. Yes. Let's be responsible. Yes. If yeah, there's anything, there's the Zimbabwean government from 1980 mm. has forever made funds and funds and funds for farming to happen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who is not farming and why are they not farming? Okay. Because if we don't farm, it's easy for the one who's seated there wanting to disperse loans to take the loan and put it in their pocket, right? It's either land indigenization, it's a command agriculture for what I know, for, for what I know, right? So if I've been to Kokwe, I've, been, I've lived in Nembuzia, right? when you own the land yes you own the land we are irresponsible people because we have the land right because so let's go back to that budget if you were the finance minister and you were executing it on an irresponsible and somewhat lawless nation we will, will it be necessary for us to go where we are supposed back, to go we will go back to how we used it to disperse money how, how how Ian Smith used yeah. to disperse money. Right? Yes. Yes, because the last 37 years there yes. has been no money. Yes, because people would sustain their livelihoods mm -hmm. based on where they are situated in the in the in the, in the, exactly. in the country exactly. in the regions. Exactly. Just like what Tunde said, they knew. But if I mean to, I mean Togo, I should produce munga, and munga should be supported by. Whoever wants it, land now, and agriculture is nine hundred and eighty-six million. Yes, this time. Is and it a now budget? we have the GMB uh, buying a ton of maize for three hundred and ninety dollars. That's a loss. And you know uh, what uh, other politicians do? They go and buy the, the, the maize in Zambia. <laughs> maize in Zambia, and again, the, a lawless people. A lawless yeah, people. Yeah. We should go back to the basics when people went to war. The fundamentals of the the struggle that brought liberation in 1980 was about equality and equity and yes. nothing else. Simple. And are we following Sarugi. that? Are we following that? We are not. We are not. We are we are not. not. That's so anyway, so I think we need to wrap. No, 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 no. I have to wrap it up. But uh, we can we can have this discussion again. Yeah. Yeah. We can have this discussion again. I'm happy to buy us more coffee and drinks, and we do this again. <laughs> yes. Anyone who wants to come, we're going to do this again. Definitely. But we can continue this conversation on social media. If you follow the feedback, ZW, it's going to be there. But if anything, what are our parting words for everybody? Make it short and sweet. I think I'll, I'll, I'll come in first. Uh, no, no, you last because yeah, you're long. Be last. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, for me, I'm just saying, uh, since the topic is about the budget, mm -hmm. I'm... I truly think that uh, our minister is trying to buy time for programs that he needs to get uh, out of the way. Uh, when I say that, I say that because he's retiring more than 6,000 people as we speak from the budget, and there are more because of the retirement age and all that. I feel that some of his actions are uh, in, impulsed by the fact that if we were to go to periodization or, or any of the three methods that were mentioned by the finance minister, I don't think our government can pay. I think they're in a corner where if they do not look for a, a sort of easy way out, they will find themselves in a, Political in a cave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and the cave has got one entry and noise. So to put it, I think, uh, to, close, to close myself, I'm just trying to say that, look, at the end of the day, I mean, I... I want to see more uh, of what is going to happen because um, it's not like I I think the minister is ignoring everything that's happening because he has super advisors that are he's consulting Chakravati all these guys are talking to him um, but I think that sometimes there's more things that are happening in government that we don't know that have a bigger impact than we think because we've got such little knowledge about what goes on in the general scope of things. Thank you. Okay, ma'am. Um, I'm saying to the minister, uh, 
This is not the first time to have austerity measures. We started in 1992. There is nothing new that he is bringing in except to call it austerity for prosperity, like we are in the church where we are <laughs> preaching the gospel of prosperity. There is nothing about prosperity in austerity. Ah. Otherwise, people will die because there is no trust. He has got to build the trust in the people. Then he starts preaching the gospel of, pros of prosperity before we speak of austerity. Okay. <laughs> I think uh, Zimbabwe, we need to go back to the drawing board and address the fundamental implications of the July 30 plebiscite. If we don't address the legitimacy question, no matter the flowery poetic uh, budget that we received from to the movie, nothing will succeed in this country. I think it's now clear that the neoliberal agenda is at the forefront and I think citizens need to organize themselves around the left and provide an alternative uh, economic budget which is reflective of the aspirations of the people which are, which are, which are freedom, justice and solidarity. So I think today we need to go back to the drawing board and control the people. Okay, my parting words is that as long as we remain a lawless people, no matter who brings whatever solution, it's going to be hard to execute. We need to go back to a point where we observe rules. They might be hurtful, but we need to observe rules. I'm impressed with the way the budget was restructured. Mm. I'm still not confident that this specific government is able to execute what it says, but we just have to wait and see. Yeah. And I think um, I'm going to take a little bit of a left road, left road and say shout out to Mtwili. I think he's tried. He's given us a bit to work with. I mean, we haven't seen that much growth and a little bit, and you know, the yeah, reductions story, that have, 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 been, have been given and you know, even those small measures, I know they're small, like the 5% salary decrease and you know, the sanitary way. I know for the gender sensitive people, that's something we could shout out about. Hey, it's a gender yes. inclusive oh, budget. <laughs> are things that we can come in and say you know well done professor but then of course like you just said Norma, let's give it time let's see what happens i mean let's not be in a hurry to just say mm, pro pro poor you know it's the same 1992 all over again let's it might give be it a time. different executor it could be, you know <laughs> so let's just give them time and see what happens i think that's me let's just see how it goes